Well, we're still a while longer with the president because he says his government is committed to creating an enabling environment for the private sector to thrive. To him, interventions such as the reduction in electricity tariff, the 10% reduction in mining sector levies, as well as an increase in GDP growth, will propel the private sector to absorb more workers. The president made these comments when he joined organized labor in Kumasi, the Ashanti regional capital, to mark this year's May Day celebration. May Day last year, the first of my tenure of office, I iterated my conviction, even though I had discovered much to my discomfort that I had become chief employer that the private sector was best placed to create long-term sustainable jobs given the right atmosphere. Our belief in the capacity of the private sector does not, of course, suggest the government will be a helpless bystander that will simply look on in hope. Government, therefore, set about the task of putting in place the fundamentals that promote the enabling atmosphere for our entrepreneurs to thrive and create jobs. It has taken a lot of hard work and strong nerves to stay on the straight and narrow path to get the economy to start growing from the deep hole it was in. We've made a number of deliberate interventions to reduce the cost of doing business and formalize the economy. The e-business registration system, the paperless port clearing system, the digital addressing system, the mobile interoperability system, and the national identification card system would all help quicken the pace of change to bring us into the technology-driven era and make our businesses competitive.